Who? Uh, damn it. <laughs> okay, music. Uh, you and your freaking weird ass pen. I know it's great. Have I told you as well that if I smash its face specifically on its left eye, its face glows up and flashes? <laughs> specifically, left eye. Yeah, like no, because I've I've just been like because it's really squishy, so I've been poking them around, and I've blinded myself a couple of times, forgetting that the left eye is obviously mm. where it's really sensitive. But yeah, if I hit like hit it oh, on my desk. Oh wow! Well. If it isn't the consequences of my own act. <laughs> As you and Amber are walking back and you're rather content with your rifle, Amber does stop you and just, like, she stops moving and you stop to, you know, keep pace with her, which is a zero pace. And she just asks, so, you know, don't you? Hmm? What? Oh, you, you oh, saw... right. You mean I mean, really? <laughs> she puts on... She puts on a smile. It's fine, if you don't want to talk about it. I'm happy to let it go. Oh no, no, not that, no, not at all. If you want to talk about it, that is that is fine. I I didn't bring it up, because, you know, other people were around. Not, you know. The smile quickly drops. <sighs> I appreciate it. No problem, but I do want to know if you're okay, though. If I can help in any way, or if you want to talk about it, or if you want me not to bother you, that is fine. I don't know. If I'm being honest, I really don't know. I don't know if I want to talk about. I don't really. <sighs> she just sort of was silent for a little while. Anushka. Are you afraid to die? I mean... Aren't we all, really? There's right, that... but that's what I'm wondering. I don't know, there's I... been a few times when I thought that was going to happen. Especially when I first left my home. Right. But the thing is, I just can't get out of my mind a couple of days ago. Well, when I almost you... ate it. When was what, sorry? When I almost ate it. Ate the dust. Oh, right, okay, okay. I was just like, I was thinking the like dirt. the number, I was thinking like the number eight, and I was like, what? <laughs> not eight, not eight, nah, nah. Ate the dust, got you. Ate the dust, ate the dirt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cradle to grave. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, that, that is, uh, that is definitely scary, I'll give you that. It's been a few times I've fallen in, in battle before. It is a tough one. I'm glad you got back up, though. He has a weak smile. So am I. <laughs> but, again, I just can't help but wonder. I know, but this is just one of those things, I think. Like, we're going to be facing this again, probably. And that is scary, but I think the important thing is just to... <laughs> enjoy what you have, I guess. Enjoy the moments, and then... If it comes, it comes. I... You know, I've been really trying to do that for the past couple of days. And don't get me wrong. She looks at you. I have. I really have, but... My mind just keeps dancing back to that. I'm not... Mm -hmm. As much as I enjoy the short-term solution, I wouldn't mind just a long-term fix. If yeah. I'm being honest, before you guys came back, I was eyeing up the apothecary's room for stuff to take. You know. Oh. <laughs> I mean, she holds up two placate events. I didn't take anything. Lambert sort of caught me on that. And then he hit me on the head. Twice. <laughs> I, I, would, I would hope so. That is not... Um... 
All I'm saying saying is, I'm just... I'm just nervous. I get that. I I do get that. That's, um... And I hope they don't think any less of me for telling you that. No, of course I know I'm... I know everyone else sees me as, like, the happy-go-lucky girl, but... I'm not saying it's a lie. Because that would be a lie. But... I am worried. And I even asked Mr. Elwin to send some messages back to some people to see what they were saying on it. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't that helpful. No, well, it's... I get the the scared part, I suppose. Like, um... But let me tell you this. The first time I I properly... When I first left my home in the... And I got chased down by this horrible, horrible creature. Uh-huh. I genuinely thought I was going to die. Like, honestly, I, I think I was all, like this close. So I put some fingers like this close to soiling myself. I'm not even kidding you. It was terrifying and horrible. And I really just was not prepared for any of this at all. And I wanted to go home and I wanted to just curl up in a ball and die. Do you still not think about it? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah, I remember um, when Nesty found me, I would not leave his hut for weeks. I would just... I was too scared to go out. I mean, outside was scary. The stories that we were told apparently were all true as far as I was concerned. So how'd you get over it then? I mean, you're Uh, here now. Yes, you're very... He was very good to give me a sword kick up the arse, let's say that much. Well... What? She just looks like I was like a, well, shit, <laughs> look at <laughs> her face. I don't know if I have anyone to do that, and uh, no offense, I don't think I want anyone to do that. <laughs> no, well, it wasn't quite the literal kick up the arse, but... I get you. You know, you've got to sort of, or at least I sort of just... Not take it in stride, but I adapt it, I guess. These things are scary. And I never really stopped being scared, so... Uh, And it's okay to be scared. You sound like one of my uncles. Well, apparently I'm a bloody mother, so you know. (laughs) I did find that really fun to watch. You should be bossy more. Ugh. I swear to God, that bloody cat. Ah. Uh, well, thanks for the talk, at the very least. I don't know how much it helped, but I hope. But if you do need anything, why? I... Like I said, I'll do for like. While well, you guys were gone, me. Kasai and Lambert were talking. I guess you would call it placing bets. I guess. Not really. No money was involved, but we were just sort of wondering how we're getting split up. Not us three necessarily, although she shrugs. We know. Right? We know we were the ones that were on the side. Lyle purposely put it like that. We know. We're the specialists. We're the side guys. You guys are the main group. We get that. We're just wondering how we're going to get split later. Well, I was hoping that we wouldn't get split at all, but Lambert says that probably isn't going to happen and Kasai agreed with him. That's usually how our conversations go. But, you know, I can't deny them. Kasai won't be much help for you guys. She hits things with fire. Against things that are literally made of fire. Yeah, let's not go against it, yeah? So that leaves her out. And then me and Lambert. Lambert better on the battlefield. He can hold his own a lot better. I don't know. 
Yeah. The, sure. the reason I bring this up, the point mm -hmm. I'm trying to make is, I know you got my back. I just don't know if you'll always be around to get it. Or the other way around. Hmm. But she takes you by the hand. Brings her hand up to her face and just sort of leans on it. No. That, that won't stop me from trying. Even if I have to go derelict on duty like Lambert. <laughs> I know, right? Let's yeah, he's AWOL. Now. Yeah. Can't go back there now, right? No. I mean, he went back there like two days ago. I don't know how that worked, but... Oh. Whatever. I don't know. It's really hard you have to... to... It's you really ask him. Time. All right, okay. I, will. I know, it's all Maybe. blur. It's all blur. But still, thanks. I don't know if I feel any better about it now, but... Yeah, sorry, I'm not the I'm best at least happy we had the talk. Shouting at people I'm apparently very good at, but not so much the pep talk. I mean, I might ask you to do that later, too. But, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, let's go back. I Jesus. <laughs> sure. Short term, short term stuff. And yeah. she redons her more standard, as she puts it, happy go lucky nature. Huh. Let's go well, back. You know, it doesn't all have to be short term, but I don't really know what the long term is for us. Going into no point thinking about it now. Let's go back. True enough. True enough. One step at a time, right? And off you go. That's where we end session? That's where we end session. Alright, nothing's delaying not me real. anymore. Here, I'm gonna see. <laughs> Boom. Music's different now. Music's Total, done. Alright, that's just jazz. clearly a difference. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's up with Amber. She's just traumatized from almost dying. Wimp. Yeah. I mean, she's like only like what, 19, 20? Yeah, no, she's a kid. Oh shit, she's younger than I remember her being. <laughs> she's pretty young. The youngest in yeah. the group, besides like Brendan. Yeah, I think it's quite a bit. She's 19, old. yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm like 24. She's a lot. That's not, that's not that old actually. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. I think Silas is like 22. I think I read them 22. Yeah. It's not. Yep. In this world, 19 isn't the oldest, but it's also a case of like, this is. Presumably, her first adventure. This is her first, like, major experiences and stuff. So, right. yeah. Lack of experience yeah. makes 19 feel like 7. You guys okay. knew what you were signing on to when you picked her. Yep. Like, that, that yep. was part of yep. the kitten caboodle. That yep. being said, uh, I did actually roll for Amber trying to steal from the, the <laughs> apothecary room, which is also the war room. And she literally got found out by Lambert. It was actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's entirely fair. I think she, I think she rolled like a two, and I was she... like, Lambert could still fail this. And then he didn't fail it. I think he rolled like a 17. And then she... I was like, hmm. It fits his nature, though. Lambert is a guy that keeps taps on shit. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. She also has been rolling completely shit, like today. She has been rolling like rather poorly. She yeah. has been rolling rather poorly. This is correct. To the point where, like, plus yeah. 10 didn't save you sometimes. Get damn. Yeah, that's life. <laughs> it's what oh, yeah, good say. session, good session, a nice RP session before we get back into combat town, baby. So next week is drunken escapades. <laughs> I'm tempted. I really am. Yeah, no. I'll sit on it because um, next week is short week anyways. You should do another sure. one with a B because then it'd be three Bs in a row. I mean, that, that, the session names? Yes. Blast of time, banished from her home. I'll I'll Brilliant. sit on I'll, I'll I'll get back to you on that. Um, back to you. I'll I'll ask you guys. I I don't know what the vote will be for Dorky and and Ninja, but what do you what do you guys want? Back you want to make like a, a good name? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you want to actually yeah. just do it in like the announcements of the planning room? Put like a little vote thing for us. Sure. So they can put their input in if they want to later.
I fucking knew there was something up with Amber. <laughs> but it's also like, she's just not no, gonna absolutely. tell me, is she? <laughs> she's just not gonna not. tell me anything. <laughs> You well, bastard. that's the thing. Like Amber is the is like the sort of girl. She lies to you guys on a constant basis, at least recently, about being the cool person. She only confides in Anushka because of obvious reasons. Hi. Hey. <laughs> you did it, girl. Hey. Sexual intercourse. <laughs> well, ah, yes, of course. The birds and the bees. Would it just be like two birds in this case? No, oh, for fuck's sake. It would be more outer <laughs> yes, course, <you> but... <laughs> yeah, outer course. <laughs> I hate us so much. Oh Why do we do <laughs> I don't remember it being this bad with like Chedimir and Anella. <laughs> no, not at all, but that's because Amber is Amber. Oh, mm -hmm. I to be fair, it's been a while, so I don't exactly remember. So, what? You, Wait, know, what? you know what could be done? What's up? We could just do the fourth one and have both of them go simultaneously. That way you fit one more week of RPing and stuff while that happens. Um, I'm, miss I'm, I'm, I'm not following. So instead of elongating it and doing... League of RP. Oh, instead of doing three, we just jump to four? Three, and then four. Have three and four go simultaneously like they're going two in time anyways. Run two fights at once? No, just don't do. Yeah, just he's just saying skip three. Line. Okay. It could be an option. But you guys have level 12 characters. We made them. And not gonna lie, I want to see that play out. On a on an analytical note, because I've never really done high level combat play. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's great. I I hope it is, but the thing is, I have no I have no basis for that out, you know, because I've I've never run it. So that's what that's the reason I want to do three, but just because I want to see it. I it's just one more like week, fun though. Guy. Let's see. Okay, so in theory, right now it's scenario three next week, scenario four the week after, and then something on the week after that. So it'd be short, long, short. Otherwise, it's RP session next week, scenario three, then scenario four. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. so I realized is that um, if we did that last one, RP scenario three, scenario four, the week after that is when I fly over to Scotland. So I'm gonna miss. Well, you and Kirsty can play absence. together. <laughs> well, here's the thing: is my flight is at seven thirty that day, so I'm going to be oh, like yeah, heading to the to airport to during the latter half of our session. If that affects the Daniel. That's acceptable. That's acceptable, honestly. Doing something. The 28th? I think so. I can't remember what... I'll check for I think the 28th, I'm doing something. You're really that close. You get on the airplane Wi-Fi, yeah. right? Damn. Oh, yeah. Just use your airplane Wi-Fi. I'm going oh, to... Yeah, having... it's like four weeks. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Ready your Maybe calendar, so girl. so much anxiety I know. already about going to an airport. I don't need to worry about connecting to the Wi-Fi. It's talking about the plane. <laughs> I don't give a shit about the plane. I got on the plane. That's in God's hands at that point. Like, I just don't want to have to go through the lines and stuff and forget things. And then be like, oh, God, I have to pull the wires out of this. Duh. Just make a, make a checklist for yourself, right? Make a checklist. Do yeah, what I they do, do for that. NASA. Yeah, I think, like, first time I traveled through an airport by myself, my dad wrote me down instructions in a map. <laughs> Which was pretty nice. I'm going nice to do that. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just like, cheers. I liked how you clearly um, trust me. <laughs> how old see. are you? Uh, 18. Retract my statement. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, like 16 or something, like a school trip. And I was like, okay, no, sure, no. That makes sense. 18, it's like, you're a woman at that point, you're an adult. Yeah. Legally. No, well, I never traveled myself, but I decided to go to Africa, so it was kind of like, haha, yes. That's the first place you chose to travel to alone? Mm, yeah. Area. It was with a charity, so I got it really, really cheap. <laughs> oh, nice. I see. Was it pretty? It was very pretty. Oh, Africa's gorgeous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never been outside yeah. of Canada, so I can't wait went, to do that. Went to China Imagine. once when I was 10 and regretted the whole month there. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Month? Bruh. A whole month. A whole month. I stayed, in my aunt's, too long. I stayed in my aunt's apartment and she stayed in my grandparents' apartment, which was like a block away. Mm. That's Yeah, that's too long. It fucking sucked. 
<laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, it fucking sucked. Oh, I mean. Not only because I was, a, I was a ball of rage when I was rage and depression when I was younger, but also because I didn't speak the language. People <gasps> stared at us because I spoke English well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it fucking sucked. And, and I remember so many instances where I'm like, I hate this. I want to go home, but I can't do that. I remember one time we're at like a bus stop in the middle, of, not in the middle of the night, it was like 7 o'clock. And there's like a fast food, uh, uh, like a, you know, a joint there, a, a, food, a place to eat. Literally, there were so many fucking insects. They were crawling on the table, around the food, on the food. And I'm like, I'm actually going to choose to starve than eat any of this. And my parents are like, no, no, it's fine. I'm like, I hate you. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember it to this day. As, and oh. I, I, I have a ball of rage about that point still. Oh no! Terrible. So yeah, my one time out of the country fucking sucked. To be fair, I was dragged there against my will. If I ever went outside the country, and it would be on my terms. Ugh. Oh, I've, well, I've been to Shanghai, but I feel like cities are very different from like yeah. local areas. I guess. Your mom's church. Shanghai is very different from the rest of China. Yeah, yeah, that was the impression I got. <laughs> Yeah, now I think about it, I did a lot of spiteful things in China. <laughs> oh, like that? Yeah, did you? I remember did one you stand time. In front of a tank? No, no, I'm not that spiteful. Sorry, no. I'm not suicidal. Well, back then I was. That's besides the point. No, I remember when I was there in China. My parents got into an argument about who was going to carry me up the Great Wall because the steps were, they thought they were too tall for me to go up by myself. And they were like arguing, causing a scene. My brothers had fucked off somewhere, I believe. And out of out of sheer spite, I just started to climb it myself. Not step up it, because it actually was too tall for me to step up it. Outright climb it myself. And I'm like, I hate you guys. I'm leaving. Just bust out some climbing gear. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine tiny crash climbing a st uh, step. Yeah. How old were you yeah. when you went over? Hmm? How old were you when you went over? Nine or ten. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But the thing is, like, the steps on the Great Wall of China are not built congruously. Like, there's they're some that are short, and there's some that are tall shed. Oh. Time. And also yeah. the fact that, you know, there are probably bodies in there. Mm -hmm. Nice times. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. so that's the only time I've been out of the country. And that's why I learned I should never travel with family. Because <laughs> they suck. <laughs> Imagine enjoying trips with your family. Anyways. Heck. Miss me with that shit. Oh, yeah, I should put it in the title. The oh, miss me with that shit. The... <laughs> miss me with that shit. Back yeah. at camp. The longest sort of vacation trip I've been on with family was uh, Kenya in 96, and it was uh, six weeks. Almost two months. Six weeks. Really? Yeah. Oh my god. Also, there's a title. New Year's and Christmas. Garf. Ah. Uh, nice. I think 